What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Megan HD, and welcome back to another video. Now, today we are talking about the much anticipated next generation consoles. I do want to kick off this video with a very important question, and that question to you guys is what console are you buying, and why are you buying it? Leave your answer down below in the comments section, even though you know YouTube has messed it up with the Google Plus interaction. But while you're here, please do subscribe as well. Now onto the absolute awesome, mind-blowing, incredible news that I'm about to give you, which isn't boring whatsoever. If you go head over to Xbox's YouTube page, there is some several new videos that put out today that I will link down in the description, showing different scenarios inside the living room and how the Xbox One's Connect features may be used, and the stuff that Connect and the actual dashboard of Xbox can do. I found it quite interesting, and I didn't really know this before. So I definitely go advise you to check it out. Also, if you haven't heard already, YouTuber Moonlight Swarmy did get a early edition of an Xbox One. Um, he ordered it from Target, which is an American retailer, and it came like four days later. So like any YouTuber or any gamer would really do is they set up the console and started playing. Obviously, Moonlight Swarmy did do some video recording as well because for his YouTube channel, that is going to be huge. Um, sadly, Microsoft did ban his console and took the video down on his YouTube page, which obviously, I mean, if you're a YouTuber then you'll know that if you get a video removed that is a serious copyright issue. So then the whole of Twitter went absolutely crazy, Microsoft gave them a load of hate, and I was seeing a lot of comments saying if, if someone got like a PlayStation 4 really, then they wouldn't be banning them, they'll allow them to do this. I call bullshit on that. There is no way Right, Sony is going to allow someone to play a console, what, it's five days early now, but in like the UK it's a good two, three weeks. Sony still haven't released a lot of stuff about their console, so if someone got their hands on a console, started posting videos about it, I'm sure Sony would take them down, I'm sure Sony would ban him from going on his console. That's the way things work, I'm afraid, guys. There is no Microsoft word right there. I mean, they don't want things to be released. They want things exciting for the users when they first turn their Xbox on. I can totally understand. If Moonlight Swarmy wrecked it for me and I, I found out all the information, I'd be pretty good on the day of release and I wouldn't be as excited as I am now. Fortunately, Xbox Live's Major Nelson did reach out to Moonlight Swarmy and did say his console will be unbanned a few days before the release of Xbox One, November 22nd. His video has also been um, put up again because uh, the copyright issue was taken away. So his YouTube channel is in perfect condition now. You can go watch the video, I'll leave a link in the description also. So, you PlayStation fanboys are probably thinking I'm an absolute Xbox fanboy because I've been talking about Xbox all video. But no, we're going to move on to PlayStation news now and there is a significant amount. Sony have released their official PlayStation 4 unboxing video about 12 hours ago. It is extremely odd and creepy because there's a mysterious guy there who you see at the end. He's wearing gloves like it's such a prestigious device. But truth be told, the video does show you a good insight to what is in the box, what you can expect in the box. And it does look pretty good. You do get a, I think you do get a PlayStation Plus subscription in there. It did say that while stocks last, so I think you may have to get the console on day one. As always, a link will be in the description to watch that unboxing video, but be careful, it is a tiny bit odd. Now for those of you PlayStation people who thought the Xbox One and all the DRM stuff, and the fact that you couldn't sell used, uh, couldn't like sell games, buy used games. Obviously, Microsoft have re-rolled that now, but Sony have decided to change the terms and conditions without really telling anyone. Under some weird subsection or whatever you call it, it does say that you do not own the game if you buy it. Instead, you have a license to use it, and Sony have that like right to take the license off you at any time. It also does say that you aren't allowed to resell the games unless allowed to by the developer and by Sony. So if you go out sometime next year and want to buy Drive Club, you purchase it for £49.99 or whatever that is in dollars and thought the game was pretty good but you're fed up with it now and want a different game so you want to trade it in but then find out Sony have decided with this particular game you can't trade it in you're going to have a minor problem. If we look back to E3 and what Sony said at E3, 
they said when a player buys a PS4 disc they have the rights to that copy of the game they can trade in that game at retail sell it to another person lend it to a friend or keep it forever in forever PlayStation 4 based disc games don't need to be connected online to play now I think Sony may be going back on this now because you know they've got all the pre-orders in people aren't going to change the pre-order because they aren't going to get an Xbox One because they're all sold out Sony have really come up with a good time to do this if they want to do this and I think they have I think a lot of PlayStation 4 games you won't be able to trade in and this is a big deal for some people and that's why they moved from Xbox One to PlayStation 4 and now you might want to move back but you can't so you know Sony put you in a minor dilemma here we'll have to see how things play out I may be totally wrong and maybe going in too far into the terms and conditions but I mean a lot of people think the same as me I've been reading articles uh, all afternoon so we really are gonna have to see how Sony play this I think things are starting to level out now analysts though do say that the PlayStation 4 will outsell the Xbox one two to one which is like double but honestly I think over time I think about the beginning the PlayStation 4 will be a more successful console that's because you know Microsoft are the DRM stuff Microsoft has the lower specs and if you look back to the PlayStation 3 I mean the PlayStation 3 had higher specs than the Xbox 360 that didn't make any difference whatsoever I think over time the Xbox One is going to become back to the more dominating console the more social console I think I've not been a fanboy of them, but I do think the Xbox One has a major advantage in terms of features and what it can do other than play games. Right now, I mean, the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, there isn't a massive difference. The PlayStation 4 might as well just be a PlayStation 3.5. That's about it. So in terms of opinions, you can disagree with me. If you do disagree with me, then please make sure you leave your argument down below. I'd love to uh, dispute this out with you and get some points across. And maybe you can tell me information that I don't know. That'll be uh, pretty interesting, so make sure you do leave your comment down below. That's either if you're an Xbox One user or a PS4 user. But other than that, facts are facts, and they are the facts that I've read out today. So don't go against them, because you can't, because that's what they are. There's no denying it. I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Magma HD. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you like this video, then please make sure you do leave a like down below. And uh, maybe you could share it with like your friends, you know. Good idea. You know, need some more subscribers, maybe. I don't know. Thanks very much for watching.